Hello everyone, we are going to start a new series here dedicated to the war game War in Flames, a strategic master games dedicated to the Second World War, covering the period from 1936 to 1939 as well as after 1945. This game is made up of thousands of counters which are the exact reality of our last world war. Below these videos, I'm going to put links which will take you back to the Austrian publisher of this game, as well as a link to the best internet pages on this fabulous war game, including my personal internet page. You won't find many videos on YouTube introducing you to this game, apart from one that I really like called the Tabletop Age, which try to teach us all the basic, uh, the basic of this game. His work is really remarkable, and you also have a link to his videos below my video. When we publish something, we want it to be different from the others, if only because the time we spend on it deserves some thanks. Well, I have something new to show you here. You can see for yourself by watching my videos. It's a magnetic board that contains all the cards and counters for World in Flames. The game system is based on double side counters which, with different informations on each side. For me, this means acquiring 10 World in Flames Deluxe, Deluxe version from 1996, including the extensions uh, Africa in Flames, Asia in Flames, Plane in Flames, Ships in Flames, Make in Flames, Leader in Flames, Cruisers in Flames, Convoys in Flames, as well as uh, four Pattern in Flames games, two America in Flames games, two Politic in Flames, and two annuals from 1998 and 2008. The, key, the equivalent of uh, 30,000 um, counters in all. I have to admit uh, that I have done my own work, and that's not counting for the purchase of uh, uh, 30,000 uh, uh, um, neodymium magnets to glue all these counters together and make them available for the game. I'm, I'm going to present you to you here. It took uh, me uh, 10 years to finalize this project, both because that I wanted to provide a map of this, of this type and because I, I needed the time to set up the organization. With a certain amount of pride, I believe that no one on this planet has ever achieved so many monetized counters for a game, however, however good it may be. And I won't uh, even mention the money invested in, in this work. This work, because it is a work, will allow you to visualize a map facing the players much more practical in the research and strategic study of the armies present on the maps and greatly help to better take into account the complete management of the forces present, the existing, the existing imbalance, the real strengths and weaknesses and the means for each state to correct uh, is, uh, its uh, shortcomings and use to the maximum its strengths uh, superior to its opponents. As you will have understood, my career as a reserve officer is not totally separate from my objective of managing. At the grand strategic level, states capable, capable of turning the world war upside down through their military action and the policies they want to implement to meet their objectives. 